Tonight, animals are helping answer some of the biggest medical questions, possibly paving the way for major scientific breakthroughs to help millions of people. Today, researchers at NYU announced they've transplanted a pig kidney into a brain-dead man. I've been preparing for that day in this setting for this procedure for so long to finally be able to do that was, was just really exciting. And the kidney is still kidney? working more than one month later. It even looks better than a human kidney, I think. This groundbreaking move could transform transplants as we know it. And it happens as across the country, these lizards losing and then regenerating their own tails could be key to treat more than 30 million people who suffer from osteoarthritis every day in the U.S. The humble lizard, uh, while you might not think about it very often, uh, is actually a, you know, factory of pro-regenerative processes. This is Chloe. Yes, she's named after the Kardashians. She's one of several types of lizards who drop their tails to fend off predators and then regenerate large amounts of cartilage really quickly, basically making a new one. Lizards are somehow able to turn normal everyday body cells called fibroblasts into new tissue types, including cartilage. In humans with osteoarthritis, cartilage degenerates instead of regenerates, forming a scar and making it hard to move properly. And researchers say we could all get it in our lifetimes. Researchers at USC hope that knowing how lizards make new cartilage, we can make the same kind of thing happen in people. My first knee injury happened when I was about 14. Um, the next injury happened a couple months after that. Molly Huddleston's now 31 and running through her treatments. I'm too young for a knee replacement, but my arthritis is already so advanced that some treatment options like a steroid shot are not an option for me. Uh, if we can take a little bit of what the lizards are able to do naturally and turn those fibroblasts into cartilage, um, it would have a great therapeutic potential for human patients. And this kind of research goes way beyond lizards and pigs. From fruit flies to mice, we basically use uh, research animals as a way for testing our hypotheses before making the jump to humans. Nature, acting as one big laboratory for scientists who are looking for answers to our many health mysteries. The Animal Kingdom and Medical Mysteries. Dr. Natalie is joining us now. So a couple questions for you here. Um, first, you know, is there, well, let me start with, with the, the sort of pragmatic, the timeline from lizards and animals to like actually being useful in real life. How yeah. long does that take? Like, let's use this arthritis example. A long time. Years and years. Yeah. So what they, what, what, what the researchers did was that they discovered, oh, wow, there are these two cells that are working kind of a yin and a yang to allow the lizards to regenerate cartilage, but not scar because humans scar. And that's what kind of prevents us from regenerating. So they said, well, let's, let's see if they can do tails. Can they do lizard limbs? They can, they figure that out. Now they go to mice and then they go to humans. So all of that takes a really long time. It all starts off in a dish, to be honest, Hallie, before they're going to get into human yeah. trials. It's incredible, especially when you think about, like, not just how long it takes, but the way that this could help so many people. Yeah. I also, though, can't help but wonder about, like, animal rights activists, for example, and any pushback on that front. Do we know about that? Yeah, you know, this is, I mean, they're, they're, they're not sacrificing these animals. I mean, you know, that's the one thing. They're studying their cells, um, regenerating a limb or regenerating a tail. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not an expert in human rights, but I don't think, or animal rights, but I don't think that that's a major issue. As we pointed out in the piece, when humans develop arthritis, our cartilage de degenerates, we don't right? We generate that. We yeah. don't. And there's a huge field in regenerative medicine. My orthopedic colleagues are, are very active in all of this, stem cells and that kind of thing. As a rheumatologist, am I going to say to my patient, wait a couple of years, you might get this new lizard gel or something? I hope one day I do, <laughs> Hallie, because right now we have very little to offer patients That's right. with osteoarthritis, and it's the most common arthritic condition that affects Americans. And by uh, the way, Americans. not just for older people either. No, that's the beauty of it. Think about you know younger people yeah. with sports injuries and mm -hmm. things like that, where they, they start to degenerate, they, they traumatize their cartilage, they're destined to develop osteoarthritis in that joint. If we could halt that and regenerate cartilage, I mean, honestly, I start to get really kind of very excited when I start talking about it. I, Only a rheumatologist would, but it, it's pretty exciting news, Hallie. You, you lit really up is. talking about lizard gel, Dr. <laughs> Natalie. I've rarely <laughs> seen you so enthused. So excited. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's so good to see you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.